I was testing what soft drink can clean a rusty nail the best. If it can clean it the best, it is the most corrosive. And if it's the most corrosive, it is the worst for your teeth. And Solo was com Solo completely cleaned the rusty nail, so it is the most corrosive and therefore rots your teeth the most. Woolies Home Brand is probably one of the best of all the cokes for your teeth. So my experiment was does the color of paper affect your test results? But what if you add music and it did affect the test results? I did use a different color paper and I used the same test six times. Well, my project is about evaporation and I wanted to find out if all liquids evaporate at the same rate. And I tested four liquids, petrol, Fanta, milk and water. And at the end I found that petrol evaporated the fastest, followed by Fanta, then water, then milk. So uh, I did the effectiveness of hand sanitizers and I discovered that so using soap and water is a lot better than using hand sanitizers in the end because it's just a lot more thorough and gets rid of a lot more bacteria. So. Okay, so how does it how does it be more effective? How does it get rid of more? Um, you, when you wash your hands with soap and water, you create frictions, which loosens the bacteria, and then the soap and water just runs it off and gets rid of it. So, but when you use hand sanitizer, it's it's always staying on your hands, so it doesn't really go anywhere. It just kind of dies, but even then, not all of it dies, so it's more effective if you use soap and water. The most interesting thing for me was watching the bacteria grow over time and seeing how dirty my friends are. <laughs> Charlotte's on the wall, over, or she's not on the wall, her poster. It's about what you eat and how you dream. It's a really good one. It's got Alice in Wonderland all over. Biochemistry and amino acids, which is consistent in most proteins okay. and is an essential nutrient of vertebrates. And usually, um, if a food has more protein, it can be more filling or rich. And so, because this enhances dreams, it means that um, if you have food, so they're more feeling or rich right before bed, you're gonna have more vivid and memorable dreams. I put a mouse in this maze I made. And um, what I did was, this is the end, this is the start. So the first experiment, I just had white and put the maze there and just left it like normal and timed how long it took to complete the maze. And then when I, uh, and I did it again, but my second experiment, my second experiment was I closed the, I put a towel over the whole thing and made it dark, but put a bit of food here for scent. And um, I timed how long it took to complete that time. And then I did it again, but I put just a towel over it and I just tapped on where the end of the maze was and then timed that again. And my, to find out what a mouse's strongest scent is, uh, sense is to complete a maze. And my, the mouse's strongest sense was um, hearing because it came, it worked more effectively when I tapped on it and finished more fast than the other times. So I put, doubled it because there was another box. So I took these out, put these in, and I cut the holes. But I made these ones so it could jump over it and these ones so it could jump in. Like say, this, it could go on this is a dead end, then it could go there, there there through there through there and if it went in here that would be another dead end but then it could go through there 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 and there but each time i change the maze because these come out so you can change the maze so the set of it so it doesn't get immune to that one spot well i've decided to see if dogs were color blind or not because i've got two of them at home and i wanted to know more about dogs basically and yeah well, as it turns out, they can see colour, but they can only see greyish, greyish colours, shadows, and blue and yellow. And that because they have uh, one less eye colour, uh, eye colour cone, which from hum which humans have. And I also decided to test my dog, which is that him there, to see if he goes to one of his primary colours, which is either red or yellow. And he went to yellow. Um, if you like hit it like really hard, it's like a solid. But if you like go that, it's a liquid. Um, if you also drop a ball, it will sink. Okay, then what is it about the corn flour that makes a difference? Um, because the corn flour makes it a solid and a liquid. Uh, what's happening here is we wanted to test how much power a potato 11 battery will produce. So um, how it works is the copper and the zinc connect with the acids inside, pH inside, use friction against each other to use power to run through the cables to create power. And we, one thing we learned as well is how much uh, copper or zinc we put in doesn't mean how much power we will get out. Same thing with the potato, so if we swap these around. 
I put these to here. It produces less power because we had a pH test and potato have less pH inside. So that's why they produce less power. Um, so we were trying to test out where you need to kick a soccer ball to get it to travel the furthest distance. And so Alfie was kicking the ball in the bottom section, the top section, and the right and the left. And we found that if you kick it as the bottom, the bottom section, it will travel the furthest. So one thing that we could have done better in our experiment was that we measured it in steps because we didn't have a proper ruler. So to get more accurately, we could have measured it in meters. So Soda had, had the biggest reaction to Mentos. And the reason they react is because they've got carbon dioxide in them and the surface of the Mentos is like what reacts to the stuff. What we learned is carbon dioxide and Mentos and sugar um, react a lot together. Kelly and I, we did rockets with Coca-Cola, like Coca-Cola um, bottles and um, co uh, little corks. And so this is what happened, but in bicarb soda, because we put bicarb soda in the bottles and then we um, put in Coke and lemon, put Coke and lemon juice in it. And in, um, in bicarb soda, both CO2 and CO3, and they just sit together and don't really do anything. But when acid comes, it changes CO3 into CO2. So the bottle now gets like really, um, like there's not enough space left for anything else. And so it gets so tight that the cork has to fly off and it goes really high. Uh, but if there was a lid like twisted on, the, 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 the bottle would explode. So the coke um, went to the highest, but the lemon juice went the faster, so it reacted the fastest. Chain reactions and nuclear energy. Um, yeah, those are going just for chain reactions. Uh, Geritanium, which has uh, two atoms, mostly proton and neutron. Um, Tritanium, which has three atoms, a neutron, uh, two neutrons and a proton, which uh, fuses together, which is where we collect most of the energy from to make four bits of helium plus a neutron. This is a simulation of nuclear fission. It's not really finished because uh, I didn't really get the time to do it, but it's the sort of what nuclear fission is. I didn't really know anything about this topic, and one of the surprising things is that it's deadly. Um, we did a survey on people's like favourite songs and genres and we came back with um, pop so we're testing um, different pop songs such as like Hello and Taylor Swift and that to see um, the different sound waves the flower makes. I was amazed at all the different types of, ex of experiments that I saw today. Um, yeah, really, um, really interesting. Different types, um, ranging from food and plants and music and behaviour. So yeah, there was. I was really amazed at the range of different topics that each group of students came up with. Um, and what impressed me was that the kids were willing and happy to explain what they'd done and why they'd done and when they were asked what they could do differently um, they were able to come up with different ideas about what they could do next time or why things might have not gone to plan um, so they've really put a lot of effort in and were happy to talk to you know people they didn't know about it so I thought that was great <laughs>